in trying to understand and keynote my own channel here, mm-hmm. my uh, personality north node is there. And so I'm trying to put the pieces together, mm-hmm. but also keeping in mind, like, it's a line six, right? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I don't even know what that could look like or mean. So mm-hmm. I don't know if you had any, um, cause I, you know, I'm not seeing myself and you have way more information, mm-hmm. <laughs> you could uh, mm-hmm. offer any insights about that. That would be really great. Mm-hmm. Okay. So Nina, would it be okay if you take a real deep breath with me right now? And when it comes to making sense of things, Can you recognize that there is a cyclical quality to the nature of you being either aware or unaware? Does that make sense to you as far as like being cyclical in your awareness? Uh, Yes. Uh Yeah. Okay. So does it make sense to you that you wouldn't necessarily grasp this right away? What I'm about to share. Okay, that's been my whole human Your whole life, right? Video. Okay, okay. My whole life and specifically, yeah, for sure with human design, yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, okay. So what, you see what I'm doing right now is I'm taking the pressure off for you to have an instantaneous transformation of awareness. Wouldn't it be mm-hmm. logical to give your clients that kind of comfort before, especially with an undefined head ajna, before blah, 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 blah. Here, take it, you know? <laughs> So what I'm what I'm attempting to do, because what I could feel and and I actually often feel this from you, Nina, one of the things that I feel um, inside of my body, because I'm a feeling cognition, too, is when somebody's communicating from a place of let's call it. I don't want to call you disempowered, honey, just that your vibrational frequency may not yet know the fullest expression of its concretization in form, the, f- the foundation of one's empowerment. You know that <laughs> my mind is saying, um, grab life by the balls. I don't know if that's something that resonates with you, but just, you know, your, your sovereignty your queenliness, your consistent access to who you are. Do you you get where I'm coming from? Like there's this inside passionate vitality inside of you just waiting to come out and it's cyclical. It's not gonna be there all the time. Just like your seeing, your visual cortex, your attunement to the direction that life is taking you is something that may not always be present or alive inside of you. But there's just this sensing capacity, this concentrated ability to tap into potentialities when it comes to standing up and defending basic and fundamental human rights, you are designed to be attuned to the role models who stand as archetypes for that truth. Is that landing with you? Yeah, I'm actually crying because I have, I feel, I feel all of that uh, energy that's like kind of building and I'm like, okay, now? And I'm like, no, not now. Mm, And I just, mm. and I feel the frustration of Mm. feeling all of that and sensing it and knowing it. And I find myself like excited, Mm -hmm. but then not knowing like, hey, what are we doing with this? And where are we going? And, Mm. and so wanting to know, and so wanting to like, um, um, I just, I just, I'm just sitting there, mm-hmm. but not like I have to always do, be doing something, but I feel it like growing and growing. Like mm-hmm. I feel the, um, I like it to like, I, I feel the pressure on, uh, the gas pedal, like mm-hmm. we're moving a little bit more, but at the same time, I equally am pressing the brake and I'm like, are we ever going to leave here? Mm-hmm. And, it, and I just feel it every time I'm, more, I'm like, this is so great. And I just mm-hmm. like engines and engines keep I feel like on my back and I, and I'm so excited and I never know when, and I know I'm following strategy and authority, but it just feels very, um, I just feel the cycle of that pressure building Mm -hmm. till I get the go. 
-hmm. and then I'm overwhelmed with like, oh, we're going now? I thought we were just spending so long not, and I'm shocked by it that I'm moving. And then, and then I kind of adjust, and then, I, then the whole thing builds again, and it just... Um... And, and I think sometimes I just find myself wrong because I feel like everybody else moves so easily, and right. I'm just sitting there waiting, mm -hmm. like in the back of the class, waiting for my turn mm -hmm. to, like, I don't know, to get it. And I know eventually does because I've just been watching that over the years, and mm. and I know and I know you say that it just it takes its time. Mm -hmm. I keep trying to remember that. So mm -hmm. yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, honey, you know, although you're wanting the nodes to be explained now, and I know probably a lot of you are like, I don't want to wait till semester three. For now, what I feel um, like I would impart would like to impart to each of you. Um, on Nina's behalf and for Nina's benefit especially, but all of you will benefit from this. I'm going to share with you, if Raquel or somebody could message me, the link in our course area under whatever the forum is. <laughs> what is it called? A feed in our class. Just the gates of melancholy. Because what I'm hearing from you is a repeating pattern, Nina, and I would love to explain a little bit about the transformation that you're going to go through, um, you're going through right now. Um, yeah, sure. If it's okay, yeah? So yeah, deep yeah. breath, deep breath again. It's okay to cry. Completely <laughs> let that go, you know? Just mute yourself so I can keep talking. But I would love to have you just keep crying that out because the water in our bodies it is the release of cellular memory. When we're crying, when we're purging, it allows for the transformation to occur, okay? Because we're letting go of emotions, stagnant, stuck emotions that we've been holding inside of ourselves, thinking that there's something wrong with us or thinking that there's something wrong with the place. Remember what we talked about last week? I'm hearing a repeating pattern from Nina where she's talking about leaving here where, you know, I want it. I want to get going. I want to have something happen. I'm melancholic or sad that I can't get going in a direction that's mutative, that's empowering. And right now, Nina's going through a tremendous transformation. All of you with the 60 or the three, all of you are going through an incredible transformation. Why? because Pluto is standing in that doorway right now in the gate of limitations. It's empowering our mutation. Anybody hear about all of the solar uh, flares that we've been having? On Wednesday, we had the biggest solar flare in the last six years. That mutation that Ra is talking about is not just random, it's coming from all of the planets and the, the cyclical nature of what it is that we're living right now, which is life. Life is cyclical. It's experiential. And so one of the things that I'm hearing, besides the fact that this woman is here for a profound transformation in the quarter of mutation, every one of you who are going through profound transformation in your life, how can you go through a transformation if you're <laughs> in the beginning of your life, you, you don't have the potential quality of being able to be transformed, to go through a death and a rebirth. So it is part and parcel of the process. Each of you who are born in the fourth quarter, death and rebirth, accepting death, accepting the limited, finite quality of our human life existence. We are here for a reason, each one of us, but especially my left angles, five ones, you are here for specific karma clearing. And what she's asking about, Nina, what you're asking about is this, you know, the nodes here, but look where it's communicating. What I'm hearing in your voice is an ability to be transformed relative to the joy in one's life, the vitality to be more specific. At the foundational level of what gate 58 is about, the pressure to correct and perfect, the pressure to correct love, to prove the strength of love. That's what you're here to communicate and think about, to make life a more wonderful experience, make the world a more beautiful place. It is what you're here to concentrate your energies on. 
and in relational context to you being an undefined throat center, it's showing a repeating pattern of not being able to complete one's karmic purpose fulfillment alone because all projectors are required to interface with the right other people in right timing with the right other that you communicate with. You're guiding their metamorphosis, their, not just maturation, my mind keeps wanting to say that, but their manifestation, metamorphosis, things happening, comes and goes in spurts transformation comes and goes in spurts you're hearing a repeating pattern transformation comes and goes in spurts so it does for the undefined and i'm talking about this gate 60 down here that's where it's coming from but also what is the energy of the individuality it operates in a pulse so it's there or it's not in context with what we are here for in the beginning of the human life experience of deconditioning, I can tell you it is incredibly confusing to be where you are right now. If you're still going through the melting that happens to your personality construct of who you think you are, all the conditioning. And so again, remember, it's not a pretty picture. The shattering happens and starts and stops and fits and spurts. And as you go through this, there's a lot of emotional expression because that helps us let go of the pain and the suffering, the lifelong confusion of you know, the deep within the deep right there. You know, the false commitments to the wrong direction or the wrong people, the false dedication to the wrong people without correct invitation and spontaneous awareness. So that's where my energy ended. Nina, you can share anything more if you want to, but you don't have to. You can just let me know if, um, yeah, they're hanging, Nina, there, Nina. That's a total <laughs> tribal thing to do. <laughs> Hang in there. <laughs> um, yeah, and I, I, I will, like, I just want to give um, my appreciation for you, Lavina, and, mm -hmm. and every time I've been in a class with you, mm -hmm. now you hold space for, like, the shattering that happens. Mm -hmm. um, and to be able to see the like the mechanics and what's happening mm -hmm. does actually feel feel, feel good mm -hmm. to um, put some context around it. And also, I know enough to like allow the emotions to happen and for me to to feel this because I, mm -hmm. I I had a, it was a little fear of go, saying yes to this class. I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> I have no idea what's about to happen. But I know Lavina and something always does and. And I, I think I must be ready for it because I wasn't ready for it before. Mm -hmm. um, and, I, and I think I just appreciate how you so truthfully and beautifully can communicate something that could be very vulnerable and, um, and yeah. sensitive with so much care because I can actually receive it, even though I know I'm crying, but it's like they're, right. they're good tears, I know. So I just wanted to thank you. Yeah. Honey. Thank everybody. And it's a beautiful example of your bravery because not everybody can stand there and express and receive at the same time it's it's very scary to let one's stuff be expressed in a, a group class like this and you can see the outpouring of care from the people who commented and now right there i want to share with you that that just happened the exchange between me and nina um where's my chart my chart is oh here it is see there's an example of the moon being nurturing and empowering <laughs> with a recognition, right? And the clarity of my personal experience of being where Nina's at. I've been thinking about this a lot with a lot of you in my classes. I have 140 students over um, over that in the semester, this semester every week. And one of the things I'm seeing and experiencing and recognizing is in my reflections of hearing you where you're at and then remembering, remembering where I was when I was at your stage, so many of you might be comparing yourself to me or somebody else in this class. And please understand, I was way behind most of you <laughs> in my first analyst training. I mean, I was self-medicating. Um, I was completely lost, utterly confused, could not um, weave together keynotes at all. Not really, not in the same way, I, of course, obviously I can do now. So please, no comparison. Don't feel like you have to compare yourself to anybody. Everybody has their own process. 
and it all takes time and we are just evolving as we go so 